Hey, what is going on YouTube? Too sketchy coming at you. And oh, 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 June 13th, 2017, community update. What? Wait, what? Actually, <laughs> I've known about this uh, since yesterday, <laughs> but I didn't know what was going to be in store for us. So they just released today, uh, I don't know when you're watching this video, but on June 13th, a pretty big update. It is a pretty big deal. Not only the update itself, but the context that they put it out on. For example, the text that I'm about to read to you guys. I've read this before because I was at work, but I skimmed through it real fast because I had work things to do. And uh, um, now I'm here, and I just want to bring it to you guys, to your front desks, laptop, phones, wherever you're viewing this. Just sit down, take a drink of coffee, tea, soda, whatever you have. Just relax and just listen to me talk because this is going to go... I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go through this quick as I can, all right? Let's see here. The next update will introduce some highly requested community features such as annihilation mode and buildable defenses. Now, <laughs> the fact that it says annihilation mode and buildable defenses, I'm like, oh, wow, that's awesome, sweet. But you know what's more intriguing than this right here? Right here, this. That, that on its own, I'm just like, you know what, Relic? High five. High five. You're doing your job. You are doing your job. As as a developer to listen to requests that we are putting out, you know, you hear our cries and whines and yells and this and that and it's just like the obviously they have to change based on what we like and it you know, it's it's two thousand seventeen and social media rules and the internet is around so they're gonna have to listen to us cry. And then it's it's a good cry because they're like doing what we like. And we like playing what they do. So, in turn, good job. High five. So, let's get this started, shall we? Hey, everyone. It's been a wild ride since the release of Dawn of War 3, and it has been. A game we love making and are so glad to finally have it in your hands. We are thrilled to put out a new installment after an eight-year hiatus. We are proud of the innovations we've made within the genre, and we think the game is full of potential. And if you're listening to this, you 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 might have subscribed to me and you're a, a fan of this channel and or a new guy person girl doesn't matter um you know that this game has potential like we all know this that's why we're sticking around that's why we keep playing this game that's why we're studying how to play this game cuz we know there's something in there and it's it, it's there like it's already there but i know there's more and that's why i'm sticking around that's why i'm so pumped for what's coming up seriously going on further but we are humans who have the internet, and this is what I said earlier. We know that there's a lot of you who don't feel the same way, and that matters, and that honestly does. We make these games for you, and we need you in order to keep making games. So let's talk about where we go from here on. Here on out. It didn't say that, but I added that. Shut up. <laughs> so, Dawn of War 3 was meant to reunite our Dawn of War and Dawn of War 2 fans with a bombastic... <laughs> Action RTS packed with incredible heroes, giant space lasers, a whole new planet, wait, and whole? And whole? Oh, oh as, as a whole. <laughs> new planets made of things that go boom. And it does. It does. While we've checked those boxes, mm-hmm, it's clear that those weren't the only things that you were looking for. So, what now? And the fact that they're looking at issues that we... Not that we don't like certain things, but we just like, there's, you know, we want not more. We want more. We do. We want more or we want things adjusted. So the developers are, you know, gathering their thoughts and probably crunch timing and having brainstorms in their little offices, cubicles and those studios and just like, what can we do? And I'm sure they're looking at data and all this stuff and just trying to gather intel. And here they are. So what, what do we do now? <clears throat> it started at the launch. By keeping our ears, <laughs> eyes and ears open, we spent a lot of time in the forums and just as much looking through the data on what we were playing and what you're not playing. All right, we're using that to plot our next steps and hoping to share plans with you soon. And you, wait, and you get involved in how we bring them to life, but that takes time. And you know what? It does. We are. This game hasn't been around for maybe two months only. As as a full feature game two months guys two months and we are expecting a lot out of them you know we're putting a lot of pressure on a lot of people came a lot of people went but 
this stuff does take time, and I am patient enough. If you're sit, if you're sitting there and listening to this right now, I, I hope you too, because I'm sure we're in a, for, we're in for a pretty good ride. So what happens in the short term? Great question. For short term, this is the only short term answer so far, guys. I want to know what's going on long term. <laughs> I'm excited. New mode, annihilation. So not only are we gonna have the power core mode, but we're gonna have annihilation mode to start. We're going back to our roots with the new multiplayer modes that challenge you to wipe out every last watt tower and webway gate to earn the victory screen. Get ready for annihilation mode. Wait, make that annihilation modes. Do I know what that means? No, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. I don't know what they mean by modes. Like there's going to be different types of annihilation. I don't know. But looking at this picture, I see new things. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-huh. I already know what they are. I'm pretty sure you do too, but let's go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Don't know what don't know what one fans will feel right at home in Annihilation Classic. So maybe that's one of the modes and it's probably gonna be like Annihilation uh, Arcade mode or hardcore mode. I don't know. We'll see. To win, you'll need to destroy the core structures of your opponents. It's tough, but we've added a couple tools to help you out. New doctrines that will let you build faction specific turrets throughout the map and oh my god is that gonna be a game changer I'm telling you want the head start load up annihilation with defenses to kick off the match with several of these turrets sorry I'm like squeezing the stress ball right now <laughs> already installed throughout the map buying you more time to build up your army both modes will be available in custom match for 1v1 2v2 and 3v3 custom match all right so both modes so there's two modes that will be available for custom match 1v1 all right i'm down with that custom mode that's cool we'll be releasing a full video on this like oh thank see yay so keep it keep a look at go, go subscribe to the dawn of war channel if you haven't yet uh probably put that in the description below for more inf information debuting on twitch it'll be at 10 at on friday that's this week keep your eyes peeled so the new doctrine will be a buildable turret and i'm guessing it's going to be available even on regular not only on the annihilation mode but on the power core mode and those fancy new turrets question mark you won't need to <laughs> you won't need to hand in your hard skill schools okay so they're going to be unlocking this for us already turtlers rejoice you have new defense strategies to play with and again, in no time, here's the first look at one of them in action. So this is the Eldar version of the turrets. Sweet. The turret doctrines won't be available in the campaign mode, but it is something we're going to look at, no promises. Uh, okay, cool. I mean, I'm happy with that. This, this is huge, though, for use across all multiplayer modes. So it's not just for the annihilation. It is, for, I mean, it's highlighted in red right there, for use across all multiplayer modes, and I quote, this is another good one. New map. Mortis Val. Or Vale. Vule. Mortis Vule. <laughs> All existing multiplayer maps have been ret retrofitted to play host to the Annihilation Showdown. But we're happy to share a brand new Mortis Vale. Is it Mortis Vale? Sounds like Mortis Vale map. A fresh battlefield to burn to the ground. I love burning shit to the ground. <laughs> we'll share a closer look at Mortis Vale next week. Alright, so they're probably going to re release another video. My goodness. I'm hyped. But here's a tease of what's to expect, and yes, the maps will be equally available to load up in power core mode. Alright, so it is it is a universal map. Sweet. And then here, here's the, the topping, the, the, the topping of it all, the cherry on top, the sprinkles diced, thrown into the... I was about to curse really hard right there. We're sneaking in one more treat for you. Get ready to bring glory to the battlefield with the free, mind you, free... Super Walkers in style with the House of Raven skins, Imperial Knight Paladin, the Exalted skin for the Wraith Knight, and the Death Skull skin for Gorgonaut. And you know, for a fact, I, I mean, you know what? I'm not even going to say nothing. Out of all those skins, <laughs> actually, I'm going to do a straw poll <laughs> just to see if you guys have been paying attention. Which one of these skins do you think I'm going to be a fanboy of? Hmm. I mean, I've been playing a lot of Eldar lately. We'll see. We'll see what you guys come up with. I'll put it at the bottom of the description. So when will this be available? Ba -ba -da -da. Tuesday, June 20th. This thing is going to go live. Now, with that in mind, 
the replays that I'm getting right now are fine for for now. Until June 20th, I'm not going to be able to watch any of those replays unless they put a hot fix out for that to be able to watch replays in the past to go into new version. You know what I mean? So, but that's no big deal. I'm sure that'll be fixed sooner or later. We know this is just the start, but it's an important one. And it helps us... <laughs> I know, you know what? I want to thank you. It helps us to say thanks to each and every one of you for playing, posting, and yes, even some... <laughs> Some of the yelling. If it's falling the, uh, from the start of the annihilation update, we'll keep listening together and we'll keep moving forward for the Emperor. Sorry, this stress ball is really de-stressing me and or stressing me out even more. I don't know. But I am hyped and I hope you are too. Give me, give me, I want, I want to hear like thoughts and suggestions. Suggestions. Hey, fuck it. Even suggestions. I want to know what you think. Um, doctrines? What, what do you think about the whole doctrines thing? Because... As of right now, you know there's a there's a map <laughs> where space marines love to use their assault marines and jump over stuff and harass your points. So what if he jumps over, and instead of harassing your points, he eats a face full of uh, turrets? Mind you, I do this. This is what I was talking about. These are orc turrets right here, right here. This one. Wait, I have. Can I can I whip this out real quick? There's one, two. Right here, right here, right here. I got you. I got you guys. Where is it at? I can't do this. All right. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if there's a limit to it. Could be just five. I'm curious if it's going to scale with, like, tech or something. I mean, it is a doctrine, so I don't know. But there has to be some sort of... I don't know how they're going to be built out of... I don't know if the Gretchens or the builder units build them or if you just place them down. I'm very curious to how it's going to go. Give me your thoughts and, and just what do you think because I'm super excited and I'm just happy. My mind is just racing, obviously. I couldn't even read some stress balls in my hand. Birds are actually asleep for this time, so I'm glad. Anyways, I'll see you guys in whatever else video I'll post next. I should have a video leading up to this or right behind it or right in front of it. Anyways, I'll see you there. All right? Peace. <laughs>